It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. <clears throat> Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Thank you for being here today. Today's video is some facts on the episode uh, called The Inspector. From the first uh, season. Well, we'll start when the inspector storms out of the courthouse. The painted set display nonsense words for business names. The business across the street uh, was H-A-J-W-Z-K on the sign as its name. However, this could be uh, for many different reasons. I've done videos on this before. Uh, Jack Prince appears in this episode as Luke Rayner. Earlier in the series, he appeared as uh, moonshiner Ben Sewell. Later, he would become best known as Ray Pollister. Todd Andrews, who plays the inspector, will return in the next to last episode of the series as Mr. Franklin in A Girl for Goober. Good old goob. Uh, kind of weird, Otis Birthday Cake only has nine candles. Uh, speaking of Jack Prince, this is a really weird one. This is the only Jack Prince appearance in the series in which he has no lines. And this is also not the last time Andy will draw down on actor Jack Prince, who's hi uh, firing a rifle at him. The same scenario will repeat in The County Nurse. He also fired on both Andy and Barney with a rifle in alcohol and old lace. Uh, this is the first time the real McCoy's Farm location is seen in the Andy Griffith Show. It will be used again in the very next episode, Ellie Saves a Female. And almost every other episode where a barn, picket fence, farmhouse, or field was needed. It's located on a 40-acre back lot just across from Wally's filling station set. And remained there until the Gomer Pyle USMC series began. It was demolished to make room for Camp Henderson exterior set. Uh, for the third consecutive episode, the map of Idaho on the wall behind Andy's desk is right side up. Map of Nevada next to it, still upside down. And here's a little anniversary. This episode marks the third of 12 misfires Barney commits with his pistol, this time into the sheriff's desk. Now, I couldn't find a picture of this, but I found this really interesting. Uh, there is a U.S. Forest Service 50th anniversary poster displayed next to the wanted posters. It reads, uh, For the tree is man's life, uh, Deuteronomy 2019. At the top, at the bottom, it reads, Forests give us wood, water, forage, wildlife, recreation. Let's protect them. Use them wisely. This was an actual U.S. Forest Service poster originally printed in 1955. So actually, it would have been 55, 55th year anniversary then, right? All I got for you here, guys. I hope you enjoy these. Let me know if you do in the comments below because I'm really enjoying doing the, the, the uh, individual uh, episodes. Uh, I get a kick out of finding some different things about them. Uh, let me know if you enjoy it or not. And that way I can uh, judge by how, many, how much I'm going to do it for you. <laughs> um, please don't forget about Classic Real Comedy, Facts and Trivia. It's on Miss Irene Ryan, who played Granny Clampett on the Be oh, Granny Moses, on the Beverly Hillbillies. Uh, some fascinating, 10 fascinating facts, as a matter of fact, about Irene Ryan. Uh, classic TV, Facts and Trivia, uh, rest in peace, John Amos who is most famous for uh, probably Good Times, uh, as the dad on Good Times. Um, really, really good actor. I mean, really good actor. It's just a shame. Uh, please check that out. Classic rock, country music, facts and trivia. Uh, the Eagles album that Glenn Fry refused to show up for. The tricky part was how he got his part in there. You gotta see that. And... Uh, 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 faith and Entertainment. Uh, many of you know I'm Catholic. Uh, don't, don't run away all at once. Uh, and uh, this is, but this is more for uh, non-Catholics, and it explains the Rosary and the history of the Rosary and why it's prayed and so forth. And you know, don't I'm not shoving it down your throat. I'm just uh, saying this is why. Then no, we're not praying to Mary. I mean, we're praying to Mary, but we're not worshiping Mary. But anyway, check that out. 
It's really neat. It's got a cool, cool history to it. Um, and if you want, if you haven't been over there yet, this is not a Catholic uh, YouTube uh, channel. It is a non-denominational, but I can add Catholic stuff in there just as because I had everybody's in there. I mean, heck, yesterday I had Alice Cooper, he was Baptist. So it's just uh, one of my favorite uh, YouTube channels, actually. Uh, this is my favorite, actually. But that one is, is pretty close. So I'd appreciate it if you would check that out. Let me know what you think. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. And I'm sorry for rambling on. <laughs> uh, please like this video. You guys have a great day. God bless you. And I'm praying for you.